Hello, this is Blair again from Yellow Matter Custard with another Video Review Friday. Uh, like I said on the previous post, I know I've been a little bit not very reliable on the Video Review Fridays as of late. Uh, I got a new camera, that's why it was in a Video Review Friday about two weeks ago. Uh, which is what you're seeing it on, a glorious 1080p high definition widescreen. So, you know, I can look as strapping as I always do, but now in high definition. But, um, well, that was lame. That wasn't cool at all. I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, this review is a bit different, because usually, you know, well, not usually, I always review albums that I like. Uh, I've reviewed albums for other blogs, like my good friend Clemen, Clemens' blog, Psychedelic Baby. Um, some, you know, I, I've done albums that he wanted me to listen to, that I've never, I, I haven't really checked out before. Uh, and the great Red Telephone 66 blog, that's another one where I've, I've reviewed uh, albums that they've wanted me to review that I've never really heard of. So it's kind of a different, uh, different way of reviewing than I'm used to. By the way, go check out those blogs whenever you get the chance. Um, but usually, for my, my blog, I, I review albums that I know and I love. Um, because, you know, it's my blog, so I do whatever the fuck I want. Um, but, I decided to do a little bit different today. Something a little bit different. Um, because most of the vinyls I have are albums that I know and love. Um, but this one's a little bit different. Uh, it's an album that I picked up for a dollar at a, a CD shop that used to sell vinyl that doesn't anymore. Because I guess it's not cool to sell vinyl in 2011 anymore. Well, fuck them. But, um... Yeah. I picked it up for a dollar because I like the cover. And I have absolutely no idea. I've never even listened to it yet. This was, I bought this about three years ago and I still haven't listened to it. I have absolutely no idea what kind of music it is. Or what kind of band it is. Uh, it's here. If you see? It's called Lalea. Lalela by a band called the Ramses. Now, I've reviewed an album by a guy named Ramses, and so when I heard of Ramses, I thought it was these guys. And so I'm like, oh, I have an album by these guys. But no, it's, this is Ramses, that was Ramses. You know, apples and oranges, I guess. Um, I have no idea what kind of music it is. The album cover is awesome. That's apparently supposed to be a guy there. Kind of freaky looking. But, uh, it's very space. It looks like a, it looks like it could be a prog album. It probably is. I mean, as you see, it's not in the best quality. The sleeve. I don't know about the vinyl. Look, that's, that's terrible. That's, that just makes me sad inside. See that. But, uh, you see, it's on... See, I don't even know what the fucking record label is. I never even heard of this. A, a Nui Coeptis. Latin, perhaps. Um, it's from 1976. So it's, it's a 70s album. That's been established. Um, this is side two. Side one... I don't know. There's three songs on each. They're pretty long. So it could be a prog album. could be, you know, a sweet like songs, you know? I really don't know anything about this album. From what I'm looking at, the band members, uh, Winfred Langhorst, keyboards and vocals, Hans D. Klinkelhammer, bass, Norbert Langhorst, might be brothers, with the other Langhorst guitars, Herbert Nanthau, vocals, and Reinhold Schrotter, drums and percussion. Sounds a little bit, you know, a little bit kraut, and wouldn't you know it, it's a product of Sky Records, 2 Hamburg 61, West Germany. So they are German. It says, produced by Klaus Hess and Connie Plank, recorded and mixed at Connie's Ton Studio, 4206 Nunkirchen, September to October 1975. So it's German. It's a German band. Perhaps it's kraut rock. Perhaps it's more jam-oriented, maybe it's more, you know, 
that German, kind of got that German gruff that a lot of German prog has. But there's a song called American Dream, the last song, so you never know. But I thought it'd be interesting to review this album, because it's hard to review an album that you never heard of. But it's also cool, because when I put it on for you guys, not only will, if you've never heard of the album, not only will you be hearing this band for the first time, but so will I, so it'll be a treat for... It'll be a shared treat. We can share this emotional attachment to this band together. We can bond, you know, like, like brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? It'll be a beautiful thing. So, that's enough of this. Ramses the Layla might be good, might not be good. It might be bullshit. It might be the best thing I've never heard. But we're going to find out. So, uh, I think the best thing is just to put it on from the first song, which is called Devil Inside. You know what? No. Let's do one better. The second song is the title track of the album, La Layla. So let's put that one on. So, we're going to put La Layla by Ramses on in a couple seconds. So, if anybody has any more information about the band, actually, you should comment. Be good. Comment whatever you guys know about this Ramses band, because I'd like to know. Because if I like the music, maybe I can check out some more stuff by them, if they have another album, I don't know. But yeah, if you, anybody there knows anything about this band, comment on the post some information about the band, because I know nothing about them other than they're, they're German. So... There you go. I'm going to put a trial track, Lalela, Lon, Lalela, eh, Lalela, on in just a second. So thank you. Lalela, 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 Lalela. Fucking Germans.